기후변화로 인한 기상이변 현상이 세계 곳곳에서 많이 나타나고 있습니다. 우리가 이런 이변들을 지금 대비하지 않는다면 더 끔찍한 결과를 초래할 수 있습니다. 서로 연결되어 있는 인프라 네트워크에서 장애가 발생하게 되는데 이는 통신 서비스, 수도, 전기 등의 공급이 중단되는 것을 의미합니다. 이는 사람들의 일상생활에 심각한 영향을 미칠 수 있으며 이런 일들이 점점 흔해지고 점점 극단적으로 변함에 따라 미래에는 더큰 문제가 될 것입니다. 이런 상황에 대비하여 인프라의 복원 능력을 확보하는 것이 중요합니다. The climate change resilience of infrastructure networks is a challenge that is not yet well understood and is one we need to address urgently. Asset owners really need to know who are they dependent on. It's really crucial both for the integrity of the assets but also for the service you provide your customers. For example, a range of infrastructure providers. If one of them is affected, let's say, by flooding, and that maybe affects an electricity substation, and then that problem cascades to perhaps the water company that's using that electricity to run its plant and, and pump water, or perhaps the uh, communications infrastructure that needs that electricity to run the communications network. Understanding these risks in advance and how we can mitigate them is key. Credo is really useful for Anglian Water to increase our understanding of infrastructure, interdependencies and the future climatic impacts on our infrastructure. If you think about the, what's at the core of Credo and that's data. In reality it's how we are sharing and using data with BT and UK power networks and then actually integrating future climatic models and scenarios. So once you've got that data in a connected digital twin that Credo provides, it means that then we can start to visualise this data and use asset failure models to look at how assets become impacted and how quickly and over what sort of time period. This is really about planning for the future. So if we can really understand how our infrastructure is going to be impacted in 10, 20, 30 years time, that means that the investments that we make and our partners make are in the right areas to protect our assets and ensure that we continue to provide that service to our customers. This will allow asset owners to use Credo to see the effect of extreme weather events on the combined infrastructure network. And crucially, this will inform what interventions they can make to increase the system resilience. Credo allows BT to share information with other critical national infrastructure providers in a safe and secure way. It's a distributed architecture where we retain control over our data assets, but allow us to share those data aspects which enable others to better understand dependencies between different infrastructure. Credo has been designed so that it can be extensible to other asset owners, new sectors, wider geographical regions and a range of extreme weather events. The wider benefits are actually, you know, it improves overall resilience. The more participants there are, the more holistic the solution that we, we see and a better understanding of that interaction between those wider uh, network groups, increasing the benefits from using Credo. 연결된 디지털 트윈을 통한 협업은 기후변화 대응의 핵심입니다. 저희와 협력하여 네트워크를 확장하시는 건 어떨까요? 함께 하시려면 디지털 트윈 허브, 크레도, 테이킹 액션 페이지를 방문해 주세요. <목소리>